first can just talk about the season overall and just how you just view how it went. Well, tough season. You know, obviously we didn't, um, you know, do what we came in the season wanted to do, but um, I thought we, we overcame a lot of different a lot of different things that happened to us throughout the season. Uh, I thought we stuck together uh, for the most part, and uh, you know, I think we can be happy with that. Russ, can you find peace in just the, the energy, the effort you gave in the postseason? Just your thoughts on you know, um, I mean, you know, obviously I, I missed last year's and wasn't able to uh, help my team out as much as I wanted to. And then coming into this year's, I just wanted to – you know, leave it on the floor. Um, you know, try to find a way to to help us. You know, win a championship. Um, you know, obviously, we didn't we didn't get to take care of that. But um, you know, I just tried to go out and, and leave it on the floor. Was there any time you were concerned about the long term health of your knee through all the surgeries and now what you did in the playoffs? <laughs> no, I mean, I I was confident and and, and positive and, and and very thankful um, on the people I had working with me here and the doctors I, I've encountered, um, you know, I just positive thinking. I think thinking positive thoughts can can take you a long way, and that's kind of how I how I think, and, you know, that's kind of how I go about things. Do you have to do anything this summer, special care? With these no, rest is, rest is good for me, um, you know. Taking some rest is, can, can, can be great for me to sit down and just – Relax and you know get my mind and body right for next year. I know you care more about the wins and losses, but your points, rebounds, assists, steals numbers during these playoffs were remarkable. Just how do you assess the way that you were able to impact the game on so many levels? Oh, I thought I did a a, a good job, but just trying to find a balance. I mean, definitely times there's different times where it could be tough, but I thought you know I tried to find a way a good balance of trying to do everything to help us win or regardless of based on each series, based on, you know, what I was able to do to, to help us win games. Russ, Kevin talked last night about how you handled the ups and downs of the season and how tough that was, but how well you handled it. Did any of that translate over to on the court, just being able to be stronger mentally? Did, did we see any of that on the court? Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, got, I, I said, I think thinking positive thoughts – Man, it takes you a long way, um, and I'm uh, constantly say that just because I think, you know, you can easily, you know, be down on yourself um, when you have surgeries, get injured, have bad games, anything. You can easily think to yourself that you, you know, that you did something wrong or you you can't do it. And you know, the whole time throughout the season, I mean, I never been hurt. Obviously, it was different for me, um, but I stayed positive. Um, you know, a lot of people say that, but I honestly, you know, have positive thoughts on and I was going to be back to where I need to be, be better, uh, come back better to help my team and, um, you know, try to try to get as far as I could. Russ, historically there's been sort of a rite of passage for teams to win it all, having to go through some knocks and adversities to lead up to that point. Do you guys feel like you're – a good path down that journey. In other words, have you taken a lot of steps towards that. I mean, I think we, I think we've gotten better each season. In my opinion, I think as as a unit and and as as people and as man, I think we we've grown together uh, as a unit. And um, you know, I think as long as we constantly do that each and every season, uh, we put ourselves in position to win a championship. Russ, it was, I could see you staying upbeat about yourself, but you got teammates going down left and right too. How tough was it to stay positive through all the other injuries? Oh, I mean, it's, uh, to me, I think that's where my job is most important, and it's it's easy for me. Um, you know, there's there's guys that that may get hurt, um, that may get down on themselves, and and I take it on you know my shoulders to to stay positive for them, um, give them confidence and what they're doing, uh, give them confidence in, you know, how they're playing or whatever that is may, hap- may, may, may happen. Uh, that's part of my job. You know, ever since I've, I've been here and Scotty became the head coach, he's done a great job of of having confidence in, in me personally. Um, you know, I mean, there's there's times where things have gone south and, you know, he's, he's the only one that always 
always, regardless of what happened, always had my back, regardless of, you know, if people were saying I was doing this or doing that, I was being selfish, being that. He always was the first person to, to step up and, and and have my back and, and support me regardless of, of what's going on. And, you know, I, I just think he, he does a great job of, you know, always, you know, staying positive and, and, and trusting in, in our guys and trusting in each and every person we have in on our team and in, around the organization. I don't believe in, you know, saying the time is closed. I mean, we, we have a lot of guys on this team that's capable of, of making things happen. And, and our organization has done a great job of putting us in a position to be able to win the championship every season. I mean, and, and that once it get to that point, it's all you know, up to us and to make it happen. And, you know, that's what, that's what you have to do. Russ, at the same time, it's such a grind. It's such a long season. Is it tough to say, wait till next year? Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, especially with how the season's been for us. I mean, it's definitely tough to do that, but, you know, that's what it is. You just got to get back on the horse, um, come back next year better, um, and come back more hungry. You guys have improved throughout this season, but you saw that ultimate goal out there. Are there some areas that you kind of have, have identified where you want to see some growth next season? Yeah, I mean, in myself or what? As, as a uh, just come back smarter, man. I think coming back smarter and, and more wiser is, is is key for us. I think as a unit, you know, as players, we can we got all the tools to, to be able to do what we need to do offensively and defensively, but mentally is is, is key for us. I think that's going to be the key for us moving forward. It seemed like you applied yourself differently defensively as time went on this season. Right. Are there things you've learned there that you're applying where you feel like you can even take it to another level? Uh, definitely, man. I mean, you know, coming out of college, that's just, you know, I take it personally, me, my, you know, coming in and defending every night um, based on who I'm guarding. And obviously through the playoffs, you can, you can see it a lot more through series and see – you know how much it can impact the game, and it helps our team out. Um, and I'm definitely going to make a more of an effort that to start next year, um, and and try to continue to go throughout the whole season.